Inmates able to roam free inside the walls of the Lewis State Prison, able to attack corrections officers at will. Tonight we have team coverage of our big story. 12 News obtaining these videos captured late last year showing assault on corrections officers. The Arizona Department of Corrections says that it took immediate action. But tonight both current and former corrections officers are telling 12 News is Michael Doudna. The solutions have not worked, Michael. Mark Rebe, those officers say they're drastically outnumbered by inmates and surveillance video from inside, along with DOC memos, show that the doors they rely on to lock up inmates don't always lock. One dead inmate, staff get him beaten down, the locks are not being fixed. Video showing what some correction officers have been facing. Two are seen struggling with inmates on the floor, while then almost a dozen other inmates on the second floor are able to open up their own cell doors and join the fight. Two of you, and there's 15 to 20 of them. Correction officers, both current and former, speaking out against the conditions inside the Lewis State Prison, saying they have reached a breaking point. Once you get to that point, staff snap out of it and say, we're going to die in here. The Department of Corrections says tampering with these doors has occurred over the past couple of years. And since learning of the problem in May of 2018, Director Charles Ryan, quote, took immediate action. But DOC memos provided by the Corrections Officer Union tells a different story. Reports from September through January of this year shows doors that could be manually pulled open, missing security pins, and more troubling is the video showing inmates attacking officers are from October, November, and December of 2018, at least four months after the DOC director allegedly took action. The DOC says the department has now started to padlock some cells to keep inmates from getting out. The fire marshal says the locks do not follow state fire code, but are acceptable as a temporary solution. Things have gone progressively worse and worse and worse, and I don't have answers to end a lot of those things. I can not tell you that those locks need to be fixed. Absolutely. And ahead on 12 News at 6, we'll hear from the sister of an inmate who lost his life at Lewis State Prison and hear her story about bloodshed behind bars. Karibe and Mark, we'll send it back over to you. All right, Michael, thank you.